Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So the last few weeks have been a little bit up and down for me. I've been able to train a decent amount, mostly in pistol just because the setup is so much easier than rifle, but I've gotten a few rifle practices in. The last couple weeks I really haven't been able to between slight shifts in work schedule and then I was on call last week. So those weeks when I'm on call, I really don't have enough time to set up and practice because we work 10 hour shifts plus on call for another like five. So we only get like eight, nine hours off a day. And most of that needs to be spent sleeping because it makes for really long days. So those weeks I've just come to terms with the fact that I'm really probably not going to get much practice in. I might do a short pistol practice just because there's really no setup for that compared to rifle. But overall, practice has been not too bad. And so today, which is Saturday, I actually had a PTO where I shot my first air pistol match. So that actually went pretty well, surprisingly. I've only been shooting about a month air pistol um, with a week of that not shooting anything because I was on call. Therefore, I've had like three weeks of shooting air pistol. And I ended up shooting a 512, which is a practice best and a match best for me because before I'd only shot a 507 in practice. So, you know, first match is always going to be a PR, so um, always makes for a fun day. But overall, I was actually kind of happy with the performance of Pistol. It was just a little bit surprising that you know, in like three weeks of training, I'm not shooting that bad. So we'll see how it progresses and, you know, how much um, train more training it'll take for me to get up into like the 50s maybe. But uh, I don't know which, if there's even going to be any big matches for this year. They just announced that they canceled nationals last week. Um, or at least for at binning. So we'll see if they find an alternate location. We'll see if we end up having some sort of winter air gun somewhere. But right now it's just looking like it's going to be small matches for the rest of the year as far as I can tell. For rifle, I score-wise didn't look very good. It was a 587. But actually performance-wise, I actually felt really good about it. My triggering and follow through were much better than they have been being and that's a couple of things I've been really focusing on. That's one of the reasons I picked up pistol was to help with my trigger control and my follow through because those are two things in pistol you can't not have. So it's really helped my rifle. But my, because I haven't really shot rifle in the last couple weeks, I just had positional consistency issues and just could not find a comfortable and stable position. So my balance was a little bit off, which you can see in my targets. But I felt really good about it. And so if I can keep the consistency of my trigger and my follow through, and then fix my positional stuff, which I've already done before. It's just the repetition and practice that I need at this point. I think it will be a pretty quick score increase. So I think next month's PTO should be a lot better since making these changes and transitions in cross training. So overall, things are looking pretty good and really liking how things are progressing and how they're getting more consistent and definitely just overall getting better. So really thinking things are about to take a jump for me in terms of overall performance scores. So let me know what you guys have been up to the last month. I know a lot of kids are going back to school finally and so 
uh, hopefully practice picks back up for the junior club so we have some more people there. Um, it's always fun to practice around other people. You definitely learn a lot from that. But overall, things are definitely looking up for the end of the year. So thank you for watching. And if you like following my journey, please subscribe and like this video. And hope you had a great weekend.